Hello and welcome to my an, another presentation on sample size calculation. Today, I would like to discuss on sample size calculation for cross-sectional study and we will calculate practically. To get more videos on data management as well as data analysis, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and press the bell icon. Sample size determination is the act used in research of selecting the number of observation to include in a statistical sample. The sample size is an important feature of any empirical study in which the goal is to make inference about a population from a sample. In practice, the sample size used in a study is usually determined based on the cost, time, or convenience of collecting the data. Therefore, we calculate minimal sample size using a statistical procedure. To determine sample size using a statistical formula, we have to know some points. Population. Population is the entire group that we want to draw conclusions. Sample is a representative part of population. Significance level. Significance level is the probability of rejecting the null hypothesis when it is true. Precision refers to the closeness of two or more measurements to each other. The intra-cluster correlation coefficient, ICC, is a measure of the relatedness of cluster data. It is used for cluster sampling, sample size calculation. Design effect. A design effect is an adjustment made to find a survey sample size due to the sampling method resulting in large sample size, for example, cluster sampling or stratified sampling. Now, I'm going to present a practical session on calculating sample size. Now, I am describing sample size calculation based on simple random sampling or systematic sampling. To calculate sample size, generally we use two types of indicator, quantitative outcome and binary outcome. Now, I describe binary outcome. Now, a research question is that, what is the prevalence of malnutrition under five year children in Dhaka city? That means, we have to estimate a prevalence. Therefore, we will use sample size formula based on prevalence. In order to calculate the prevalence of malnutrition of under five year children, the minimum sample size is calculated using the following formula. Where n is required minimum sample size, p is the estimated prevalence of an indicator, alpha, level of significance, z alpha, the z is corresponding to the degree of confidence, and e is the desired precision. Let's go to Excel file for calculating sample size based on this research question. This is an Excel sheet. First, we have to give necessary information based on this formula. Let us suppose prevalence of malnutrition is 47% from national survey or other source. Consider level of significance is 5%. This is the formula of calculating Z value. The Z value is 1.96, corresponding to 5% level of significance. Consider the precision in is 5%. 
generally we use 5%, but if the prevalence is very small, that means less than 10%, then it will be half of the prevalence. This is the Excel formula of calculating sample size. And prevalence, Z value and precision. And this is the Excel formula. Finally, what the minimum sample size is 383. Now we can write as, we assume that the prevalence of malnutrition is 47%, consider 95% confidence interval for a single population proportion and 5% precision, then the minimum sample size is 383. Now I will describe sample size calculation based on cluster sampling. Now again, a research question is that, what is the prevalence of malnutrition of under five year children in Dhaka division? And we will use a cluster sampling. For example, district, sub-district, Upuzala, Immunion, or any other group will be considered as cluster. Now we have to calculate a sample size. We have to adjust design effect to calculate sample size for cluster sampling. Where BAP is the design effect described in previous slide. Rho is the intercluster correlation coefficient M is the number of individual in each cluster. This is the average number and other indicators have been described. Now from the Excel formula, prevalence of outcome, level of significance, Z score, precision, and sample size is 383. Now we have to include some extra information for cluster sample. Let inter-cluster correlation is 0 0.005. Assume that the number of individual of each cluster is 25. This is the average value. Then that using this formula, the design effect is 1.12 and the formula is okay. Now we multiply multiply with design effect. Therefore, total sample size is 429. Now we may prepare a sample size calculation table like this. Finally, we can calculate the adequate number of cluster using this formula. Now I will describe sample size calculation procedure for quantitative outcome. Now again, a research question is that, what is the average birth weight of newborn baby in Dhaka city? That means we have to estimate a mean or average. Therefore, we will use sample size formula based on standard deviation. Where sigma is the standard deviation, that means to calculate sample size based on estimated mean, we need standard deviation, level of significant, Z score value, and precision. Now go to scale Excel file. The necessary information, standard deviation, level of significance, zero score, and desired precision, we have to give this value. Standard deviation is 
alpha value is 5%, then Z score is 1.96. Consider uh, the precision is 0 0.25, then this formula. Uh, presenter got the required sample. For cluster sampling, we can easily calculate using same way. Next, I will show how to calculate sample size for cohort study, case control study, and randomized control trial. Thank you.